Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another nail tutorial. Okay, we do it another poly gel set. I'm actually going to be doing a fill in and I'm going to be trying to recreate this nail style right here. So it's going to be like an amp up. Ooh, my nails look crazy. Um, I did lose a decent amount of nails. I only have two nails left on each hand. I will explain that later, but I'm going to be doing the same, um, French style that I did in my last poly gel tutorial but it's obviously gonna be a fill-in and then I'm gonna be adding the butterflies you guys saw it in the beginning it's gonna look hella cute the outcome is super cute so just you know trust me trust the process okay I'm showing you guys that I do have some lifting um, on my nails and then they just look crazy and I they ended up popping off um, Pretty easily I've had this set on for over two weeks so I waited a little bit too long to do this fill in and that's why I don't have a lot of nails to fill in so I wouldn't wait as long as I did but I'm just showing you guys what I'm working with which is not much <laughs> um but yeah let's just get straight into this fill in if you guys are excited then make sure you give a thumbs up down below leave a comment and yeah let's just get into it okay so I'm starting off with my e-file and I'm gonna be taking the bit that Kind of resembles a nail file you don't have to use an e-file for this if you don't have one but if you definitely plan on doing your nails in the future i'd say it's a great investment i found mine on amazon i'll have it linked down below but i'm just buffing off the top layer of like the clear gel off of the poly gel and i'm kind of sand sanding down a bit of the poly gel as well just to kind of see what I'm working with. I do have some lifting on my nail. Um, so I'm just going to do that on all of, well, on all four of the nails that I have left <laughs> on my 10 fingers. I only have four nails left. It's kind of sad. But once they started lifting, I kind of just plucked them off because it irritates me. But I also knew I needed to film this video. So I know. Next time I won't wait too long to do a fill in. But then I'm just taking the nail bit and I'm kind of just like, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of buffing away at the areas that are lifted on the nail with the e-file. I'm also going to go in with um, like a cuticle cutter after this and just like kind of pick away at them. Pick away is not the, the correct term. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to cut away at them. That's what I'm going to do. Yes. So. I'm just taking the cuticle cutter and just cutting away at them. When I used to get my nails done in a nail salon, you know, if we still even remember what those are, <laughs> but when I used to get my nails done and I would get a fill in with acrylic, they would do this same technique. They would like take a cuticle cutter and cut away at the edges of the nail that had lifted off of the nail bed. You want to cut down all the way down to where it's not lifting anymore. You don't want to leave any areas where it's lifted and then you seal it back together at the top with more poly gel because you'll create an air pocket and then fungus can grow and bacteria can grow under that nail because you've trapped air in there. So you want to make sure you're cutting all the way down to where the nail is not lifted anymore. This nail that I'm actually working on right now ended up completely coming off. I could have saved it, but I didn't want to risk having an air pocket, so I just completely took it off. But I'm showing you that I did the other two nails on my other hand and I actually already did the fill in on the ring finger that I was showing you earlier so I'm going to show you how I did that now but it ended up coming out really good doesn't it look great it looks great in my opinion I mean so I'm just going in with um, a smaller nail bit this one's metal this is more so for surface work and to work around the cuticle area um, it doesn't hurt at all to work around the cuticle area with this but I'm just using it to kind of like smooth off the top layer and just make sure that there's no like bump there between the pink and the white and then i'm going to show you guys how i did the fill in so yeah that's what the nail looks like it looks great nice little apex it's great honestly wonderful so proud of myself you go girl you got this <laughs> no but seriously let's get to it jasmine good though okay there we go so i'm showing you guys the nail bit boom that's what it looks like it's on i have it on a low setting and the top 
part of the nail bit actually doesn't have any like um, it's completely smooth so you can run it along your cuticle or along your skin and you won't feel any pain or anything because it's not actually sanding off anything because it's smooth but it's further down on the nail bit where it actually has like the um, the sanding so that it can buff down those edges so I'm just using it at an angle I don't know if you guys can see that I hope you can but I'm just buffing away the top edge of my poly gel nail that is still attached to my fingernail there's no lifting with this nail um, so I'd say this one stuck on pretty good because I didn't have to cut down too much and that's what that looks like I'm gonna do the same thing for my pointer finger um, I'm just making sure that I can fully see that the nail is not lifting that it's smoothed down really good because you want there to be more of a blend you don't want to have like a, a ridge or like a bump when you do place down new poly gel you want to make sure that it's a smooth transition from your nail bed to the poly gel nail so I'm just making sure that it's nice and smooth before I go in with any new product. Brushing away any nail dust, and that's what the nail looks like. This one, the tip completely just fell off. I was like, what the hell? So anyway, I'm gonna go with some dehydrator and I'm going to dehydrate my nails. I was kind of generous with this um, because, I mean, you're, you can be, you don't have to put as much as I did, but it's not gonna harm you if you do, so. Then I'm gonna go in with some uh, nail foundation. This is gel foundation, so this is like a base coat. Um, a lot of people ask me, do you have to use a primer and a foundation? You don't have to. Sometimes I just use primer, sometimes I just use a base coat, like a foundation. This is a part of the Gelish kit. I cured this for 60 seconds under my UV LED lamp, and this is what it looks like. Look at that. The ridge is almost, almost gone, so I really don't have much work to do, you know? Then I'm gonna go with my poly gel. This is in natural pink. The same one that I used in my last tutorial for this exact set that is now three weeks old and is struggling and holding on for dear life. I'm gonna take a little bead of my poly gel and I'm using acetone as my slip. And I'm just gonna pat that baby in. I'm gonna do the same technique that I did in my last tutorial where I'm really just shaping and molding that poly gel bead, um, working from the cuticle down. I'm not gonna bring it past where the pink is on my nail because obviously there's white there. If this was all one color, you could do that if you just wanna make the nail thicker. You could definitely just bring the color all the way down, but because it's a French poly gel set, um, I'm just going to stop where the pink is. And it's also going to help me build up a thicker apex because I'm only keeping it, you know, towards the top of the nail as opposed to bringing the poly gel all the way down. This is like nail porn, honestly, like. I don't want to get demonetized because I said that word, so I'm probably going to bleep it out, but it, <laughs> this looks really good. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think just watching what I'm doing is probably the best, but you guys also really like my voiceovers. I keep getting comments that I sound like Billie Eilish, Elish, Eyelash, I don't even know how to say her last name, but you keep saying I sound like her or I sound like Doja Cat or I look like Doja Cat. So my name now is Jasmine Billy Cat Destine. Ooh, that nail looks so good. So I finished the thumb and I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do the pointer. I cured the nail for 60 seconds. I, I feel like I shouldn't have to say that because I feel like if you're watching this tutorial then you have some idea of what poly gel is and you know that gel has to get cured, but then again, you know, it's questionable. So every single time you see me use a gel product, whether it's poly gel or a top coat or a base coat or a primer, it has to get cured under a UV LED lamp, so. Yeah. That's what you have to do after every step that's shown. I just don't show it because my lamp is off to the side, but 
make sure that you're curing your products so that they can harden and set in place so that you can then move forward and do the following steps that I'm doing. Look at that nail, she's really cute. She's a little thin, but we're gonna fix that. Don't you worry. So before I go in with the white to fix the bottom of this nail that chipped off and broke, um, I cured for 60 seconds and then I'm gonna go into the McCart poly gel in bright white and the bead I took was actually too much product I mean you don't need this much I don't know why I put that big old bead but I ended up making it work like you just take off what you don't need but I didn't need that much I was kind of like just a little too heavy-handed with that but yeah the nail ended up chipping on the corner as you guys saw it was like all lopsided and the tip underneath also just chipped. I think I might have been biting on my nails or something. I don't know. I don't do that often. I only do that when I'm like nervous. So I don't recall doing it, but it's possible. <laughs> and that's why I didn't have the corner, but I ended up fixing it. Look, yay. So I cured for 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna go back in with the bigger drill bit. This is the one that kind of, it just looks like a a round nail file it literally looks like a regular nail file um, I was saying earlier you don't need to have an e-file but it is a great investment I would highly recommend if you plan on doing your nails you know every week every two weeks it's honestly just a great investment it, it cuts your sanding and your, your nail time down by a lot as opposed to using a regular nail file. I love regular nail files, but they do take longer, so. See, I'm still going in with my regular nail file just to like add that finishing touch of smoothness. And then I'm also shaping up the sides of the nail because I want it to be nice and crisp and sharp the way they was looking three weeks ago when I first did them. And that's what the thumb looks like. She looked hella cute, okay? Period. I'm going to do the same thing for the pointer finger. And the drill bit is also very handy for working under the nail. So if you have poly gel that kind of spilled over or even acrylic or regular builder gel, you can use a piece like this that's really slim and stick it under the nail and it'll give you that really nice curve. And then I'm just going in with my nail file, and that's what that looks like. They look so good. Watch this transition. Watch this transition right here. This is just crazy. Look at this. Ooh! Ooh! I've been learning some things on TikTok, period. No, but seriously, look at how cute these nails are with these butterfly foil. So, I was really excited. I purchased all of this crap off of Amazon, right? This is nail art foil glue. This does have to be... Um, set with a uv lamp and i purchased some butterfly nail foils so you need this nail foil glue for this to work i tried to use top coat i tried to use base coat i tried to use clear coat i tried to use nail glue nothing works you literally can only use nail foils with nail foil glue which seems very tedious and annoying because it is but it was hella worth it because these came out so cute. You put on a layer of the nail foil glue, you cure it for 30 seconds under your UV lamp, and then you cut out, well, you should already cut out your little um, butterflies off of your sheet of nail foil, but that's when you would then stick it on. I just pressed it in with this tool that I had laying around. This is my cuticle pusher, actually. You just smooth that bad boy on and then you peel off the little plastic that the nail foil is on and your design sticks. I opted for only putting the nail foil glue where I was going to place the actual butterflies as opposed to doing a full layer of it over the entire nail. Um, simply because I felt like that would have been unnecessary like I'm only placing the butterflies in certain places but if you're doing like a full um, a full cover nail design 
with nail foils then you would put it all over and then just stick your nail foil on top and peel it off but this was such a cute touch i kept seeing this design all over pinterest and instagram um and i really wanted to figure out how people were getting these little cute butterflies all over their nails and when i realized that it only cost maybe like 20 bucks i was just like yeah i'm down like I need this in my life you know so I'm just sticking on some little cherry blossoms on the thumb next to this orange butterfly that looks so pretty and I would say do not be heavy-handed with this nail foil glue because when it pulls up like if you put too thick of a layer it kind of looks yellow that happened on one of my fingers and you can kind of see like a little bit of yellow on top of the white poly gel and it's annoying the crap out of me so you have to be very like put a very thin layer because when it's really thin it just looks clear but if it if you put too much then it can look a little it has like a tint of yellow to it but once I stuck all of my butterflies on and they look so cute you obviously need to go in with a clear top coat so the clear top coat is the one that I use in every single video this is from Jellish it's a part of the gel kit it comes with all of the stuff that i use the foundation the top coat you know the deal okay if you've seen my other nail videos you've seen this product before i stand this little gel kit because it has everything you need for the perfect gel set and i'm not sponsored that is my unbiased unpaid for opinion okay so going in with a lint free nail wipe clearing that sticky layer off and then I'm going in with the cuticle oil I love this stuff so much makes my nails look like they were done in the salon like they look so good look at my nails they look so good oh my god I love them they're so cute this is like very spring this is very weather appropriate very seasonal appropriate nails I'm in love absolutely love the nail foil designs I thought that it just added the perfect cute touch to this nail set like it just bumped it up like from my last video to this bumped it up if you guys like the way my nails turned out then make sure you give me a big thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam you know you want to subscribe there's more videos on the way don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye